Karangahapi Road, more intimately known as K Road. Some know it for its red light history, but most know it as the ultimate melting pot of New Zealand's best restaurants, bars, and cafes. It's a central hub for all artists, musicians, creatives, foodies, and nightlife. It's a tactile fever dream that you can eat. A place where creativity and hospo hold tight hands in dark corners. It's the dingy, well-worn booth at the back where everybody wants to sit on a Friday night. And one thing is certain. Hospo is the heartbeat of K Road. I had the absolute pleasure of sitting down to chat with four fellow Hospo folk from iconic Karangahapi establishments. Some are owner operators, some chefs, sharing their stories on how they got started in this industry and why they stayed. Welcome to the open door policy. Pull up a seat, order a bevy, and let's dig in. You will never be unemployed and you will always have mates and always have someone somewhere to crash. Always have a support system because you are working in quite a fast paced, sometimes stressful environment, but a very fun environment. You make friendships really quickly. So by the end of the week, you know, you're going out for a drink with people, mm -hmm. people inviting you back, people asking you if you if you need anything, if wages haven't come through or your tips haven't come through, you know, do you need us to flick you some cash until you get paid? Things like that which would have never happened in a in a kind of more corporate office situation. I think everyone in their life at some stage should work in hospitality. I think that it teaches you so much, not just about yourself, but it teaches you a lot about people around you and your community and, um, you know, lots of life lessons. I remember cooking was the first thing that I was like, like, I'm quite good at this. One of the most buzziest things to me is like, you try to explain someone non hospo, everything's coming so fast, you don't even have time to think. It's just like, it switches on an autopilot and you just do. And some people can't get it at all. They're just like slow on the fucking service, two years, five years experience, they just can't get it. Well, this was like the one thing that I was like, fuck, like I'm quite good at this. And so that's why I chose to keep going at it as a career it doesn't it doesn't feel like work you would know like a sea breeze would be like pumping on a saturday and sunday but it kind of doesn't matter how pumping it is how busy it is how many coffees you have to whip out in a certain time and it's still you get a chance to spend time with people and deal with people even just walking down the street and you see people stopping and they stop and they talk, they see someone they know and then they, they walk further and then they wave out across the road <laughs> and then they stop again and it's like, oh, it's going to take you half an hour to get down this <laughs> yeah. street. And then the same thing happens in the restaurants and, and when we go and visit other bars and restaurants on a Friday or a Saturday, I might quite often do a walk and I go and see Ange at Shi Penang and then I go up and see Mo and Les at Apro and, and then today, you know, I was meeting you and then I popped downstairs and saw Emma at Bestie and... I love that when I see people walk in and then they're talking to their neighbour or I go to take them through and sit them at their table and then I've lost them like, halfway ah, because they've yeah. already, you know, they've stopped to talk to people along the way. And I also love when we get um, single diners and they feel really comfortable in the space. I like that. I, I, I think that that's really... Um, you know, they're, they're sitting at the bar and then they'll start talking to someone else sitting yeah. at the bar or I think that's a win when um, when people can come by themselves and not feel, oh, you know, not feel uncomfortable. Oh, K Road is awesome. It's an awesome place. A place where everyone is welcome. No matter where you're from, who you want to be, anything. K Road has always had such a strong identity it has been a safe place for displaced communities and that is still really quite strong. How's it a different vibe? My take on that is K Road already had the history mm -hmm. and then it's just sort of drawn the food places to it. 
it's a cool place, at least right now. Most of the restaurants on K Road, they're not like investor owned restaurants. No, no. It's no. not that at all. They're no. all owner operators. Owner operators. Yeah, which you know I, I mean? fucking love. Like, which is, you know, that's why, what they're, makes it why they're drawn to K Road. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? You pretty much have everything on K Road. You'll be thinking, let's go up to Madame George for a drink. You know, we used to go to Clay a lot. It's now Alter. Let's go to Clay for a drink and let's get a pizza. Let's go to Cotto for dinner afterwards. On, you know, on Sundays we'll be like, let's go to East Street or let's go to Bas Les. Let's go to Sri Penang for Malaysian. And we want a nice cocktail. Let's go and see um, Sammy across the road at um, Satya or the Chai Lounge. You know, so it's pretty hard to beat. 